Hi everyone, Tom Slavik, and today with me is Brian Onetto. How you doing, Brian? Good, Tom. Thank and you. And we're going to be going through the supervisor's report. Usually Richard Forrest is here, but I believe Richard Forrest is back east uh, attending some meetings. Richard is. Um, should be back. He's going to miss the, this meeting that's coming up, but he's back there attending a NACO conference, which is like a national association of counties. Um, and Richard's like a first vice president, so he's back there hopefully lobbying on behalf of us in rural counties. Okay, I always like to bring that up because uh, even though Amador County is a little county, we have uh, we have uh, seats on a lot of uh, uh, big committees and big, uh, big important uh, things for county government, right? Yeah, quite a few actually. It's okay, like, well mm -hmm. let's get on to uh, tomorrow's uh, uh, agenda. Brian, what's, uh, what's up on the agenda? First off, we have basically, we received some correspondence from the Forest Service. Okay. They're looking at doing like a timber sale or more like a thinning up there, and they call it the Foster Furs. So it's up around the Foster Meadow area, Peddler Hill Maintenance Station um, off Highway 88. And the county's generally supportive of the idea of thinning the forest, reducing fire hazard, and we're supporting their um, option number one or alternative number one. We do have some concerns. Uh, one of the concerns, probably one of the main ones, is they're looking at, these used to be like dispersed camping in that area, and they're looking at uh, obliterating a lot of the campsite. Um, it's something I'm seeing throughout the mountains. The Forest Service is blocking off a lot of areas where people used to camp, and they're almost forcing people to go to where you have to pay, and they have a campground host, and they're, they're, they're making it a lot harder for people to have that free camping wherever you like in the mountains. Or the reason. ones where you pull off, uh, pull not pull off the road, but you uh, yeah, go you back further the once you have the camping experience, where, where maybe it uh, it only has a, a, a bathroom facility and water, or not even water, you know that yeah. type. The un, uh, what do they call it? It's un, un uh, upgraded campground. Uh, base is unmanaged, or you know, it's just, it's open, dispersed, and you're a little more free. I mean, it's, it's you in the forest and uh, wherever you're camped, and they're trying to put everybody in one little area. And, I, and they're putting boulders all over the place, blocking off access to that. So, I mean, it's, I think they're restricting the, our use of our forest. Um, okay. And also, they're looking to obliterate roads, um, existing roads up there, uh, existing landings. And those landings are there probably because when you log a place, there's a landing, and, and we'd rather see them see to it that the roads are in good shape. Sounds like they're taking the camping areas and pushing them into like a wilderness uh, area. No, 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 they're not pushing the wilderness. That'd be the last thing they do. They're pushing them into like a, a hosted campground. Well, I, that's what I mean. I mean, so taking, uh, more or less taking the, the small campgrounds uh, that, that you said and, uh, and moving and closing them down so that that part of the forest is becoming like a wilderness area oh. where you can't, you know, yeah, you to can't, a certain degree, you yes. can't enter it. Yeah, I mean, a lot of access, I believe, is being closed off. Okay. And it's happened kind of, it's happened kind of slowly, and you go to the mountains, like, whoa, people used to camp here, people used to camp there, people used to camp all over the place, and now they're kind of shoving them on, you know, a lot smaller area. Um, and I think that, to me personally, that kind of wrecks a, a fair amount of experience. If you go up there and if you're to camp in the mountains, it's a, it's a lot Right. It's a lot nicer if you're in the if you're in the mountains, kind of almost by yourself, and it's more yeah, peaceful. That, it's better. Having that uh, camping experience where you might want to backpack or or tent in and uh, uh, th that kind of a thing, right? Yeah. And what else is ha they're they're proposing to do is decommission um, water holes, and water holes are put in by our predecessors. I think for a real good reason. If they're if 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 you if you whether you're logging, whether you're in road work or whether you're using a water hole for fighting fire, it's very important, especially fire. And if we're supposed to be so green nowadays, I mean, when you close off a water hole, you, you still need water to do the road work if you're logging, and especially for fire. So that means then you gotta go, go further to try to find water. Um, I, I think the Forest Service years ago, they were making water holes, and they were maintaining water holes, and I think they should go back to make having as, more of them. I mean, it's. When you're out fighting a fire, it's critical to have access to water. Years ago, I remember the Forest Service, they, they actually had water tanks in the mountains where they'd had a pipe go in the spring and they'd fill up that water tank. And if they need to, and now you do have helicopters, I understand that, but still, if you're, in a, if you're in a vehicle out there, it'd be nice to be able to go to a water tank, turn on that water tank, and you, 
They had some big tanks years ago, probably like. What was wildlife using those water holes as well? Oh, water, uh, wildlife will go where there's water, they'll use it. Well, so I'm, I'm meaning so uh, in this dry, uh, dry time, the uh, deer oh, might, have, yeah, uh, yeah, might not would. have as many places to uh, drink as well. So I'd like, I'd like to see them uh, putting in more water holes. And what's kind of funny, when you get a water hole, you know what you get at a water hole? You get wildlife habitat. Right. Um, you go to a water hole, that's where you'll find your frogs, you'll find, you know, sometimes fish will be in those water holes and animals. Um, water is life. And water holes are good. So that's some of our concerns. But we're glad, we're, I will say this, we're glad to see that the Forest Service is doing a thinning, um, removing some of the fuel loading. I'd like to see them do more of the thinnings. And if they, even take, if they take some saw timber, when there's a mark that we had so, so much land burn up, where there's a rim fire, a king fire, that the mark is just flooded. So most of these thinnings are going on just close to the roadways? You know, about Highway 88? or is it I'd say more, right more so, but they're doing other areas too. Okay. And it's, I've been saying this for probably a long time before as a supervisor, we're either gonna thin out and manage your forest or they're gonna burn. Right. It's that simple. And my brothers and I have a piece of ground at Bear River. I went down there the other day and I, I went there a few times after it burnt in the power fire and I kind of stopped going because every time I went, went down there, I got just madder in hell. Because I remember what the drive was like going in. It was really beautiful. You had trees, three, four, five, six foot, some eight foot in diameter or close to it. Um, they're pretty much all wiped out. And now you just drive through this nuked wasteland brush field and it doesn't have to be like that. Okay. You want to go on the next item? All right. Uh, well, let's go to our second thing. We probably got a little off uh, off the subway here, but I know Sorry. it's uh, yeah, it means a lot to you. And I go up uh, up country and uh, recreate up there a lot. We either and, uh, we manage know the, the forest the, the or they springs, burn. The springs have been shut down, and uh, I know like uh, the Kirkwood uh, camp campground there, the little little Lake Kirkwood area, yeah. and other other springs. So uh, a lot of people wonder what is happening up there. Okay, so we have Common Ground Senior Services a presentation, their annual report for Common Ground. What do you expect from that, Brian? We would have a report from uh, Diana and Norlin, and um, she'll just kind of tell, give us a report and tell us how Common Ground is doing. Okay, and uh, IHSS, Public Authority to Amador County, the discussion of possible action to proposal the budget of minutes uh, for in-home supportive services, public authority. Uh, of Amador County. Actually, that's where we're having Diana Norland, excuse me. She'll be there. Um, and that's basically, they get a budget from IHSS. That's like they provide in-home um, caregivers okay. and, and su support for elderly people that can't get around. And um, so we'll be discussing that. All right. We've got the uh, number seven up there is the uh, I don't have my clock in here. Uh, the El Dorado Irrigation District, uh, West Lands Water District, a temporary water transfer project. Uh, what is that, Brian? That is where El Dorado Irrigation District is proposing to transfer about 3,100 acre feet out of Silver Lake. Good. And we'll actually wait, 3,100 acre feet total, about 2,400 acre feet of that will be coming out of Silver Lake. And the county has some concern over that. I know some of the cab owners up there have some concern um, because under a court settlement, EID has, can't draw the water. I believe it's September 15th before right. they can start drawing it down beyond a certain point. And there's some question whether they're drawing it down earlier than that, an amount greater than, that, than they're, than they're uh, entitled to. So we're looking into that. There's some concern over that. So it's not a concern that they can use the water, it's just to try to keep it to say, we'll use it uh, at that time because that is a multi-purpose, uh, uh, I believe, recreational lake and the water is used for multi-purposes. Of course, uh, probably all the water uh, in the different lakes are used for multi-purposes, but uh, traditionally that's drawn down later after, uh, after the After camping, recreation after is kind of done and over with. Sure. And, and they're, they're proposing to sell some water, transfer water from there down like the down to Westlands and there's, it's questionable whether they can. Okay. And All right. staff's looking into it and some well, supervisors yeah, looking into it. Everybody has to look out for water use, that's for sure. Hey, water is a uh, you know, old saying. Right, whiskey's, whiskey's the drink and water's the fight over? You got it. Okay, uh, 
So don't just uh, roll over on the water. Traditionally, we fight over it. Okay, the planning department, discussion of possible action relative to the public hearing to consider the following. I guess we can probably uh, maybe get to the first one here and then uh, talk uh, some of these other ones. These are zone changes, a lot of sure. zone changes coming up. I guess the first one's uh, at, uh, looks like it's at uh, Shenandoah Road and uh, I guess that's one for Deaver. Is that what that was? Yeah, that would be. So I'm having Shen a hard time Shen finding Shen the, the name. Shenandoah gonna... Road and Shenandoah School Road, kind of right. like it'd be right. like just a little bit north of Flower Farm. All right. And they're what it is. It's in. They're trying to make a smaller parcel there, and staff had a concern where if they gave them a small parcel, then they may and doing a boundary line adjustment. And if they gave a boundary line adjustment, so made a small parcel and boundary line adjusted the other parcel larger they can end up with additional parcels. What they said, we'll give you the small parcel, and they're putting like, I think it's a B5 um, restriction on the larger parcel. It says, even though that parcel looks like it could be split, because it'll be like 80 some acres. There's actually 98 acres originally, two parcels. So they said, they took one parcel that was like a 20 acre par 21 acre parcel. So we want to make that 11, and we'll put the other, or make it 10 acres with 11, 11 acres onto like a 80, 80 acre parcel, or 70, say, no, wait, 70, 70 acre parcel. So that now make that parcel 88 acres, so if, presumably you could split it. So you, so you end up with, originally having two parcels, you okay. could get three, so county, so we're putting restrictions, so you can get your smaller parcel like you want, but the, large, the larger parcel now cannot be split, even though it's big enough, it could, with, could be split due to the additional acreage. Okay. So it's uh, basically still saying two parcels with Henry. Two parcels to begin with, two parcels to end. Okay. We're going to take a break and uh, we'll be right back uh, after this break. Stay with us.